So the final race from Worcester then is the Kevcon Maiden and this one is a two mile maiden chase and the top one is Bay of Skulls, Graham Clutterbuck, Grilla Driller, Leon Van Rensburg, Jab Wheel, James Follis, Leon Lee Shen, Hans, Queen Phillips Town, Darren House, Sibylin, Ghost Zappa, Totes McGoats, Jamie Hopkins, Candy Apple Grey, Martin Leadham, Chief Whips Do Grey, Elizabeth Van, Derek Hinton, Madison Page, David Robertson, Mill on a Floss, Kevin Minahan, No Discussion, Carl Aragante, Orange Nair, Molly at Surfer, Sword of the King, Joshua Sutherland, Worthy Miss Doug Warren, and Zover Strikes, Darren Thompson. 17 then, and it continues to rain. We've avoided the floods, and away we go then. And there's two more chase to end the opening meeting at Worcester, and over the first they go. And we inside. It's Bay of Skulls, but it's Elizabeth Van in the pink, and a stake there you can see on the inside was by the Grand Clutterbuck Horse Bay of Schools and that one's dropped right back but as has happened already a few times this season it's the Derek Hinton horse that's gone off in the lead to make the pace and Elizabeth Van is in the van and in the lead and over that one and clear by about five to the Grey Madison Page and the outside of that one is Orange now and on the inside Grilla Driller Sibylins after that one with Totes McGoats also close up as well as they come past the post and out on a complete circuit going a particularly fast pace for a two mile chase but it is a bit wet out there and Elizabeth Van is in the lead and clear by a good five to Grilla Driller and then Sibylin as we just lose sight of them for a second there and looking towards the back of the field Zova strikes and no conclusion on about two with Chief Whip also nearer the back than the front but it's Elizabeth Van the leader from Gorilla Driller who's gone second. Totes McGoats is third, then Gray Madison Page after that one, then Sibylin and Worthy Miss. Bay of Schools is back on an even keel now, and then Jabouil as they take the next. And they're all safely over that one, just being scrubbed along Orange now, has lost its place and dropped back a little bit. But Elizabeth Van is two and a half, three lengths clear of Gorilla Driller as they take the next, that big ditch, and over that one they all go nicely with Elizabeth Van uncontested lead the rest of them though queuing up behind as they take the seventh and we've lost one there something's gone it's mill on the floss and i think that's kevin Meenahan in his own race that's gone and i'm pretty sure mill on the floss was a decent three-year-old filly about 30 odd years ago he wouldn't go into the stalls in the oaks i remember right i think it's a steve Corth and henry cecil horse anyway over the next we go then elizabeth finds it and we've lost another one there this time it's bay of school so that one had taken liberties with a couple of fences already and pays the price this time so we've got just a little over five furlongs still to go now and orange now who was really struggling just a little while ago he's now going well and has taken the lead so a strange sort of race this one then orange now is in the lead griller driller is second elizabeth van is third then madison page and sibling and she ends your wheel totes my goats candy apple gray sword of the king and then worthy miss i think it's between these as they swing now towards home they've only got three and a half furlongs to go and this is the fourth last and over that one orange now landed in the lead from elizabeth van and sword of the king going ominously well on the outside over that one they go and look at this now Le Chien's going to take it up and now being immediately pressed by Candy Apple Grey. It's Le Chien from Candy Apple Grey. Elizabeth Van, Sword of the King. Then the image chances Orange now. Also, Worthy Miss is coming through for a challenge as well. But Le Chien's the leader. This is the final fence. And Le Chien down on its nose. And now Candy Apple Grey gets back into the lead. But suddenly Sibylin swoops up on the outside. And Orange now on the inside. A full lot to go. Sibylin, Orange now. Sword of the King. Griller Driller. It's a head bobber again. This time they're spreading off the track. It's Sibylin and Orange now. Orange now on the near side. Sibylin on the far side. Do they want to split them? Sibylin and Orange now flash past the post again. The Sword of the King's third, then Madison Page and Griller Driller. And the fair will trail back to Queen's Phillips Town, but that is too close to call for me. They're spread across the track. Sibylin probably just. The angle's pretty deceptive. It may be an easier win than we think, but it's. It was an exciting finish and plenty of chances. It all changed over the last fence or two. Sibylin wins it by half a length, it says there, for Ghost Zapper. Orange Nair, second for Molliette Surfer. Sword of the King, Joshua Sutherland, third. Grilla Driller was fourth for Leon Van Rensburg. And Madison Page was fifth for David Robertson.